All right, y'all. This is a review for Clash at the Castle 2024. Not a bad show. I like the. I thought the uh, Cody AJ uh, Styles I Quit match was decent at best. Wasn't too bad. I especially thought the ending of the of the uh, Drew McIntyre Damian Priest match with CM Punk screwing over Drew McIntyre again. So this is the third time now he's he screwed him over. Because the first one was WrestleMania after Drew won the title from Seth Rollins. He just had to rub it in CM Punk's face. And then CM Punk pretty much tripped him while he was turned around on the announce table. Then he screwed him over that number one contenders match on Raw earlier this year. I guess Jey Uso. He helped Jey Uso win. And then he screwed him over now at Clash of the Castle. <laughs> Stepper, he got a referee shirt and screwed him over when the ref during the match got knocked out. I love this feud, even though they even had a match yet. I just love this feud. And when they eventually do have a match, it's going to be good. And I thought the Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, IC title match, it was okay. A lot of storytelling there, too, with Otis, because he doesn't know what to do. All right, let's get to it. First up, Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles, an I quit match for the title. Cody applied the... Figure four on AJ. Ref asked him if he wants to quit. He said he doesn't want to quit. AJ Styles dumps Cody onto the announce table. He had a brain buster on the announce table. That just looked vicious. AJ busted Cody open. I'm not sure how because they never showed how he got busted open. AJ tried for the Styles Clash off the steps. Cody countered it. AJ hit uh, Cody with multiple Kendo shots, just destroying his body. And he applied the STF and he turned it into a cross face. Cody passes out, but he doesn't quit. AJ grabs Wade Barrett's water bottle. And then uh, Corey Graves is hilarious. Say. He just out of nowhere just says, You were done with it anyways, Wade. <laughs> and then AJ, he handcuffed Cody in the ring. And he hit him with a candlestick again. And then Cody's mama, Mama Rhodes, she's at ringside. She slaps AJ three times. And this dude just stands there. He doesn't even threaten to hit her, man. Well, you got to do something. She slapped you three times, man. Mama Rhodes, you, you even do nothing to her. Say something to her. Nothing. This guy just took the three slaps and didn't do anything, man. And AJ wrapped, uh, he grabbed a chain. He wrapped it around his arm. He went for the phenomenal forearm. He's, he's going for the phenomenal forearm. And then uh, Cody tosses the chair into AJ's head and he goes through the table. That looked brutal. Cody hit AJ with two crossroads. One cross crossroads on the chair. Oh, that was the third one. And then Cody handcuffed AJ to the middle rope. Cody hit him with a bunch of chair shots. I mean, he destroyed him. Still refuses to quit AJ. And then Cody's about to hit AJ with the steps. And then AJ styles us out of nowhere. He just says he quits. And then after the match, he hit him with the steps anyways. So Cody retains uh, undisputed title. Pretty obvious Cody was going to win. Because he's not going to lose the belt until he's done feuding with The Rock. So who knows when that is. And then after the match, we had the bloodline. They attack Cody. Red Orton and KO help him out. So they were teasing a match with uh, Cody Rhodes and Solo Sokoa. So, cause that's not really a SummerSlam match, even though he's become like the new head of the table, the leader. Solo's become the new leader of the bloodline. Basically took Roman's spot. So, yeah, I don't think that's really a SummerSlam match or like a big main event match yet. Because Solo's not even close to being a main event player. So, we'll see what happens with that. All right, next up, we had uh, those new women tag ch champs. Didn't really care for that match. The two Scotland girls won because they're in their hometown. I think one of their family members passed away. So I guess that was just WWE just saying, hey, we give you the titles since one of your uh, family members passed away, I guess. That's a good thing, I guess. But they, they probably won't have the belts that long. Like They've barely been on TV. All right, next up, we got Sami Zayn versus Chad Gable for the IC title. Sami hit a springboard moonsault on Gable on the outside. Gable hit Sammy with the powerbomb and a headbutt for a two count. 
Sammy hit the half and half suplex. Chad Gable applied the cross face, and then Sammy countered it into his own cross face. Gable countered it into an ankle lock, and then Gable grabbed the icy title. He gives it to Maxine. Sammy's like on the ropes, like he's already damaged. So Gable, this is where Gable distracts the ref. It looks like Maxine's gonna hit uh, Sammy, but she per- she swings the belt, but she pretends to hit Sammy to make it look like she hit him. And then uh, Chad Gable's going to the outside. He gets in her face. So all this is going on. And then uh, uh, Sammy goes for the haluba kick. Chad Gable moves, but Sammy doesn't hit Maxine. Uh, Sammy like hit the brakes. And then uh, Chad Gable hit the chaos theory. That's where he rolls up person and he does the German suplex. He got that for a two count. Gable got in Maxine's face. Otis, so he got in her face again. And then this is where Otis steps in and he confronts Gable. Gable hits the double moonsault on Otis and Sammy on the outside. Sammy counters with an ankle lock on the outside. And then... uh, this is where uh, Chad Gable goes into Maxine's legs, like an- like ankle area. And then Otis doesn't know what to do. He's like all conflicted. Oh, should I hit Sammy or should I help Maxine? He does the right thing. Otis, he carries Maxine to the back. And then Chad Gable's all pissed off and stuff. And then uh, all this is going on. And Sammy hits Chad Gable with the haluva kick for the win. So I like the storytelling, the storytelling they're doing here. With uh, with Otis, she's really conflicted. He doesn't know what to do because Gable's the one that's like chose him as like the number one guy, right? So now he's pretty much been berating them for like the last several weeks. So Otis has got to either pick his pick the rest of the Alpha Academy crew, or he's got to pick uh, Gable, who he's got to go with. So he's really in a tough spot. But I like the storytelling they're doing. But hopefully this feud between Gable and Sami Zayn's over because going on really too long and Gable just keeps on losing and losing so we'll see what happens next alright next up we got the it was pretty predictable Bailey retains against Piper Niven you don't really care for that alright moving on uh, Damien Priest versus Drew McIntyre uh, during Drew McIntyre's entrance there was like a Scottish band I thought that was cool before his music hit and he came out there for his match Drew hit a couple clotheslines Third one sent uh, Priest over the top rope. Drew hit Damien with the Michinoku driver. Got a two count. Damien got his foot caught on the rope. I thought he was hurt. He might have tore his knee or his his ankle or something. But he was just selling. Don't really see this spot a lot. For selling an injury. Because most of the fans thought he got hurt. Ref tried to get his foot out. He couldn't do it. Then Drew had to get. He pretty, pretty much got his foot out. Just beat the crap out of him. Eventually got him free. Drew hit the Future Shock DDT for a near fall. Damien hit the Razor's Edge for a two count. He pretty much hit on one foot because after the we got his foot caught on the rope. After that spot, he just pretty much fought the match on one foot. Drew hit the neck breaker, and then he hit the Claymore through the barricade on the outside. Damien hit a Hurricane Rana back in the ring, and then soon as Soon as Drew got up after he took the Hurricane Rana, he just pretty much hit a uh, Claymore out of nowhere, like how Randy Orton hits the RKO out of nowhere. Uh, Drew hit Dame, uh, or he pushed Damien into the ref. Down goes the ref on the outside. Drew hits a Claymore again. He covers Dame. Pretty much got like a 9, 10 count before the ref comes out. The angle they showed when the ref came out there, you, it was like so far away, you couldn't even tell who it was, not even a clue, because it was so far away at the camera angle. I love that. And then we get this camera angle when the ref gets into the ring. He counts the two, and then he's about to count the three, and he just gets up. And then we see it, CM Punk just rubs it in Drew's face. I love this. These guys haven't even had a match yet, and <laughs> they hate each other so bad. Love this. And then uh, uh, CM Punk low blows Drew. Yeah, right there. And then Damien hits the South of Heaven chokeslam for the win. And he retains his world title. 